Hello, my beautiful friends. This is Natalie Kelly, the TBI coach, and I am here today in Hawaii with Dr. Alaric Aranander, the director of the Neuro Research Institute in Iowa. When the waves came and when the storm raged, found myself falling into the ground. When the wind blew, that's when it fell through, and I don't know how to turn it around. I know there's more to me than the record you see. Thank you so much for being here. A pleasure. <laughs> On your vacation. Thank you. Yeah. Um, We're going to talk today about sound and vibrational mm. healing for the brain and how okay. that affects the brain. It Great. seems to be a cutting edge therapy I'm hearing about these days. Yes. I think the future is going to have a lot of sound in it. Um, I think it's the future of medicine. Um, there isn't a lot of research, but what the research we have and the experience we have shows that sound is, uh, as you know, a powerful influence on our lives. We choose certain sounds and choose not to be with other sounds. So mm -hmm. it's part of human life, of what sounds we like to have, because sounds have an influence on the brain and the physiology. Um, they actually penetrate the physiology. There are gross sounds and there are subtle sounds and there's very subtle sounds. There's an entire range of vibration. And if we want to go back a bit, we could go to Albert Einstein, who said everything's vibration. And if Albert said that, then probably it's going to turn out to be true. Mm -hmm. Even if people don't believe it, the physicists would say, everything in the universe is just vibration. There's, as solid as this wall feels, it's only a vibration. And this vibration of a hand and this vibration of the wall are incompatible, so the vibrations repel. That's called solidity. So it's vibration. It's just sound but contained in a form. So nature and life is just a bunch of configurations of sound and vibration. It's a very beautiful view of the universe and who we are, that we're just a body of sound. Now, as time goes on, medicine's going to investigate more and more how these work and what works and how it works and how they get applied. But there's enough now available that people with traumatic brain injury should be aware of these tools. These are vibrational tools. Uh, of course, we can have vibration on the skin level. You can just apply something vibration here. Uh, people have bowls and they have sound things and there's tapes and so forth. There are different types of sounds. Um, one that I'm quite familiar with are called Vedic sounds. These come from the ancient Vedic tradition, which is part of the oldest tradition known on the planet and is shared by many of the older cultures on the planet. In many of the cultures, they've lost these traditions, but in the Vedic tradition, it's been maintained throughout all these ages, 5, 10, 20,000 years, since the last isolate age. And what we find is that these Vedic sounds are very pure, very simple, and they penetrate. And they penetrate to create healing, penetrate to create orderliness, penetrate to create a resonance, and therefore a reset of the physiology. So there are specific sounds for specific needs. If there's a particular disorder, then there's some form of order which will help remove or eliminate that disorder. So orderliness always is the source of how we remove disorder. We can't get rid of disorder, we just replace it with orderliness, because mm -hmm. otherwise you have to get rid of the system. So a system works in a certain way, maybe it's not so orderly, we just bring in order and it starts working more orderly. And it just entrains. Yes. That, like a tuning fork and trains with another tuning fork. Exactly. That's perfect an analogy, Natalie, that we have resonance, or we, we could say we have reverberation, some vibration. And that vibration, a reverberation, leads to a resonance, things vibrating together. You're listening to a tape or somebody doing something in the environment, or you're hearing a sound through some headphones. That sound is now resonating with your brain, your whole physiology, even to probably to the level of DNA, because the DNA is affected by everything that comes into our physiology. So the entire range from DNA to the growth structure of our body is gonna be impacted by sound, just like it's impacted by every possible sensory experience. And so what happens with these Vedic sounds is that there are select forms of orderliness, which then can be applied to specific forms of disorderliness. And you just put them together that reverberation starts resonating. That resonance is a form of activity, all right? We're now resonating more in that orderly fashion, We're resonating more orderly, resonating more orderly. We're taking the pure version of order and applying it to the source of disorder and bringing them together. And the disorder starts reverberating 
starts resonating with that order we're placing into the system, if placed properly. And what happens? That resonance is a change, a little change here, maybe in the DNA, maybe in the cells, maybe in these nerve fibers. That resonance leads to a reset. It leads to a change which changes the organization of that system, organization of the DNA, organization of the brain, organization of some bodily system. That reset then leads to a remembering or a remembrance of the system of what it should be like. Most people's DNAs are very pure and very full of orderliness. It's a lot of life experience which adds this orderliness to us. We don't behave well, we don't eat well, we don't exercise, we don't sleep well. And so stress in our lives and lack of proper routine create more and more disorder and otherwise a set of DNA and physiology which could be very orderly. Mm -hmm. So we should think of ourselves as being potentially very orderly. We just need to place more order from the outside to entrain and, and release the endogenous orderliness from the brain and from the DNA. Mm -hmm. And that's what the sounds can do. Beautiful. Specific sounds for specific symptoms, general sounds for general health. Non-specific holistic sounds for the whole system to be integrated, specific sounds to deal with specific symptoms. So Vedic technologies, these Vedic vibration technologies are being used all over the world now. They're being actually tested and showing very good changes, cardiovascular changes, EEG changes and so forth. So we can show that even now that besides the people's personal results, their subjective results, they were beginning to have objective research on it. Mm -hmm. And I think people with TBI would be behooved to look into their area and look into this as well. With your help, you, you're a TBI coach, you have a great grasp of the potentialities and how each individual can maximally use for them. So I would invite them to enlist you as a coach to find out more about how these Vedic technologies in, in the context of all the technologies that you know of could be helping to them. Mm -hmm. And they can find these technologies also on, sound, is it soundhealing.org? Uh, th there's one place in particular called vedicsound.org. Vedicsound.org. So V-E-D-I-C and then the word sound no S on it, just sound.org. VedicSound.org, you get a thing on your computer screen, it asks you what your symptoms are, and then it offers you a program to help alleviate those symptoms by placing orderliness into the system and replacing it, and then allowing the memory to flood back into the system so it works better. It's pretty amazing, and I actually you know, heard from a couple of people who had used it and mm -hmm. had tremendous changes in their mm -hmm. health mm -hmm. and their brain function. And yeah. if people Google, um, I. If people Google the effect of sound on water, you can see how by putting these sacred sounds on water, mm -hmm. Om, for example, mm -hmm. creates a beautiful pattern mm -hmm. on the water. Yeah. Life and is vibrations and how we use it. We, we have a tendency to sort of ignore it or use it on a crude yeah. level of our video or our CD or something like that. But sound is the most powerful tool because we, we are only sound. And if we use it well, we can have a great influence in the quality of our creative potential. Yeah, it's very exciting, these new technologies Fantastic. that are being discovered right now. Just wait. It's going to take over in the next next period of time. Yeah, that makes sense. It's great. Thank you so much, Alaric. Pleasure. And Thanks, Natalie. You're welcome. And thank you so much for watching us. And if you have any questions or comments, please put them in the field down below. And um, don't forget to subscribe. Thanks so much. That's when it fell through, and I don't know how to turn it around. I know there's more to me. Could you see there's more to be? I'm still on the journey. Hello, my beautiful friends. This is Natalie Kelly, the TBI coach, and I am here with Dr. Aaron. Oh crap. <laughs> Aaron and her. Let me do that Aaron, again. Aaron, oh crap. <laughs> That's kind of Irish, isn't it? Yeah. Son of crap. We I'm glad you're not yeah, taking yeah. this personally. It's just yeah, like the short term memory thing. Okay, I'm gonna do that again.